Hey everybody, thanks so much and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be doing an install review today and the hilts that I just finished are the SP Sabres Snips. This is the Ahsoka Tano lightsabers from the Clone Wars. So we have the, the Shien, which is the longer of the two hilts, and her Shoto, which is the smaller one. These are for my daughter. Um, I, last year I started asking my kids if they could only have one lightsaber, which one, which character th that they would want. Uh, my daughter wanted Ahsoka's. So this was, uh, you know, thankfully, there, Sean had been doing a, a run at the time. He had, had a pre-order going. Um, I want to say I got this around somewhere in the late summer, early fall. I, I can't truly remember. Uh, but it came in a great presentation box in here. Um, came with both hilts. Came with the switches. Uh, it came with the, the Allen wrenches. It came with a nice little plaque. Okay, let me get that up there. Good. Uh, and it has multiple pommel caps. So we have a solid pommel cap and also a vented pommel cap as well. Um, I actually did do a first impression video of this. I just didn't like how it came out and I got lazy and didn't reshoot it. So I figured, you know what, let me install it and then I'll do everything on the install review. Uh, I did contact Sean about these because I wasn't sure if there was a a special spot for a second switch, and there's not. These are single switch hilts uh, along that that copper that copper button up here. I'm gonna go over everything right now. Uh, these these hilts are pretty solid when they came in. Um, the, the only thing is that some of the edges are maybe a little bit rougher than than I would like. There's some small pommel cubes here, which I'm gonna go over and show in a minute. Um, but overall, I thought the quality was pretty good. This was my first experience getting something from SP Sabres. Uh, last year, I feel like he kind of exploded onto the scene. He had a bunch of runs that he did. Um, I think he he did an Obi-Wan uh, stunt hilt from uh, Revenge of the Sith. Uh, he did a, a Kenobi hilt, which is basically the, the Episode 3 hilt with the um, balance pipe emitter for, uh, for the Kenobi show. I know he's had he's had a Sidious Saber that's coming out now. He had the Snips. He did a version of both uh, Kanan's Hilt and Ezra's Hilt from Rebels. And I'm, I think he even has a few others that I'm, I think I'm probably forgetting. But um, this was my... I, I went on to his site after a, a friend pointed him out to me and after he knew the project I was looking for. Because um, I was originally looking at Solo's Hold's Hilts from the Clone Wars, the Ahsoka Hilt's. Um, they they were quite expensive. I know they're a great quality for Solo Soul. They have a couple of their hilts. Um, I just I couldn't afford it at the time, so I ended up going with the SP Sabres, which I thought were a lot more affordable. And I mean, overall, for my daughter, I am definitely pretty happy with these. I am going to kind of turn the key, you know, change the camera angle. I want to do a little top to bottom review, like I always do, and then I'll um, I'll go over the install. All right. Okay. Back to our familiar viewing angle. Uh, so here's the presentation box. This I thought was uh, was pretty nice. Let me put out. There's Sean's logo, the SP Savers. So here are the hilts. This did come with the blade plug. This cover tech and um, this Greebly here uh, helped to hold the chassis in. These are um, these are, are threaded. There, there's no Allen key or anything like that. There is an Allen key here. If I can get that underneath, and right there for the blade and the blade plug. Uh, my only thing, one of my little, and I actually have these on order. They're just not here yet. Is see how it's silver. I would have liked to have been black. Get a black grub screw to blend in with the shaft here. Um, I actually did order a, f a couple just to get to put one in for here and then also for the, the Shoto as well. All right, so this comes apart in two spots. So this is the vented cap, right? So this does come off and you could put the solid pommel cap on which I actually have that on the Shoto here. And 
And there's definitely a, a large difference between volume, of course, between the vented and the static pommel. And then this also then comes apart. The pommel comes apart right here. Okay, there's your speaker. Now, this button is held in by a magnet. So if I actually start to loosen this up a little bit, this bad boy comes out. There we go. Okay, so here's the chassis. Uh, I got this from Jimmy Saber's junk. I'm trying to think. I think I bought this through Saber Bay or yeah, I think he may have been offering these uh, 3D printed chassis for this hilt. Uh, this is a 28 millimeter base speaker. This is where the fun begins. Kill switch here. So as you can see, the switch and there's also a little magnetic piece right there. If I can get it to go. All right, that little magnetic button sits on top, connects to this piece here. And that gives us our little contact. All right, I'm actually gonna leave that out. Uh, I got our little needle pixel. There, our stock. This is a uh, an eco version of the, I guess, V3, if you will. Profi board, of course. And this just lines up really nice. Or it should as it goes back in. And it goes right up to where it needs to be. Lock it in, put the switch in. Now, I thought that possibly like this could have been an auxiliary switch or even the primary and this would have been the auxiliary, uh, but it's not. This is just another threaded greebly in here that goes on and off. Um, this here, this uh, little card that sits on top comes in a little baggie and I just and it's got a uh, two sided tape on it and you just kind of peel that off and stick it on there. This box itself is actually uh, screwed in or I should say there's two screws holding it into the to the hilt. Uh, but yeah, I would have I really would have liked if there would have been two switches on this. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm not sure if there's two switches on the Solos Hold version, and they're really the only two companies that make uh, that make these hilts. Um, probably, I guess, as accurate as they are, I could say that. But uh, overall, I mean, I I think the design is great, definitely you know as close as you can get i am not an expert on ahsoka's hilts by any means but uh these seem to to look pretty pretty close to uh to what they had in animation just a little i believe this is actually anakin's so i had to get used to a lot of the one button controls which on a profi board which i have not done this was my first single button profi install uh so getting used to color change, changing fonts, all of that, um, you know, definitely takes a little getting used to. There's uh, some cheat sheets out there on how to do it. This is General Kenobi. I put... Be careful not to choke on your aspirations. That's, I think, Rogue One. <laughs> As you see, my Jedi part. I'm about to let everyone in. Kanan. Will be with you. Ezra. Fear of loss. Is it? Yeah. I've come to kill some I put a bunch of Clone Wars characters in here. Some Are fun you ones. A Jedi? My daughter likes Ghostbusters, which is why that's in there. Ray Skywalker. This part is over. Gotta have Mace. And finally. Ahsoka. There we go. Okay, so back to Ahsoka's. So this is the green. Which came out pretty good. I'm gonna put a blade in here in a second, but I really do like the blade plug on this. Uh, I'm glad that it came with and I didn't have to actually go out and buy that separately. And then the shin, I'm sorry, the show show here. Now this, I actually am leaving the static on just for now, just to show off the difference between the two. 
But as soon as this starts to come out, this the copper switch will automatically kind of just pop out. So just be careful you don't lose this thing. Obi-Wan was right. You are difficult to kill. So as you can see, the chassis is definitely a lot smaller. Again, this is the same thing. Um, you know, Jimmy's sabers, Jimmy's saber junk. Uh, another profi. This is a much smaller battery. This is an 18350 compared to the 18, your normal uh, 650 that's in there. And the the size of the speaker is smaller. I think this is a 20 or a 22 inch. I don't quote me. I think it's it's one of those two. I kind of forget which one it is. I was able to use FET's styles and uh, FET 263, and then I was able to make this the line blade. Now, as you can hear, like this is a lot. This is a lot quieter compared to this. So there's the big difference between the vented and the static pommel. There we go. All right. Uh, again, this hilt is very basic. There's not as many details on this other than the little cover tech here and this other this extra greebly. The pins are similar to the the other hilts to the to the Shen. This also has that silver grub screw that's holding in the blade plug. Um, I like I said, I am replacing that as soon as those come in. So what I'm going to do right now, guys, is I'm going to put a blade in. The Shen here, the long one, and just to kind of show you what that guy's what that looks like, and uh, we're almost finished. All right, hold on one sec. Okay, so we're back. All right, so I put a blade in this guy. I'm gonna just light this up just so you guys can see how this all goes. Uh, again, just incredible color with the NeoPixel. Just single tap, you get your little blaster. Double. Get your lock up. Actually, I think that might be a lightning. Yeah, I'm still learning out all the figure, all the buttons here for uh, you know, lock up and, and everything like that. But um, my daughter's already played with these several times. She's very, very happy that she gets to have both. I'm not going to put a blade in this one. I just feel like it's a little redundant. Plus, I don't have a, a shorter blade other than a 36. Um, but you're not going to see the, two, the color difference here, but this is a, uh, a lime color. There we go. So let me get this guy down. All right. If you're not with me, then you're my enemy. So the other font on here, I have the Ahsoka from Clone Wars, and then I also have the Ahsoka from uh, Rebels, and of course... Um, Mandalorian when we saw her and I'm assuming her own show where she's got the the silver blades um, as well so I have that color on here with that font for her to use as well but here's a different color there we go the blue so you know Clone Wars season 7 right so because blade color changes even though this is an Anakin font but at least you get the picture there we go okay, we're back. The lights, guys. Uh, this is the blade plug that comes with the snips. You get two of these, of course. Uh, there's no PCB on the back. All right, this is just a shine through blade plug, as you can see here. Uh, these are pretty easy installs. Each one took about a, a couple of hours. Um, Jimmy Saber Junk did a great job making this chassis, making it nice and easy for the installer. Uh, there's plenty of room in the hilt to make this whole thing work. Uh, I probably would like a different button setup, I will be honest, because I feel like the, the magnetic part, that might not always stay. I don't know how strong these magnets are. Um, I would just be nervous if the button actually ends up flying off after contact. Just swinging around might not be a big deal, but when you're actually, if you wanted to duel with these things and actually hit, um, one of my things that I would be nervous about is if this piece is going to actually fly off. Um, and if you're doing these at night or something like that, you, you're, you might have a difficult time finding it. 
Um, that's like a little nitpick thing. And like I said, the only other thing really with these guys is just the cubes are just a little bit sharper than I would like. And even the, the edges here, um, I think these could have been filed down just a little bit more than, uh, than what they were. But other than that, I really do like these hilts. I, I think SP Sabres did a, did a nice job with this. Again, I'm not an expert, so I'm not going to speak to the accuracy of these versus the animated hilts that we get in, in the show. Um, but overall, I think they are very close to, to what we see. Um, I would have liked to have seen these compared next to the, the Solos Hold uh, hilts that came out. And uh, my daughter's pretty happy with these. So, uh, you know, I'm excited that she's got something like this in her collection for the first, you know, her first lightsabers. Um, her brothers are already very upset because she gets two in one shot. And I'm like, well, her character has two sabers. There's nothing I can do about that. Um, but I am ordering a, uh, a short blade for this guy because um, my daughter's small right now. So I, she doesn't need, uh, this is a 36 inch blade, which to me is just too big for her. So I'm going to try and get a couple of small ones for these hilts. But, uh, but overall, guys, th this was pretty good. I know there's not that many installs, I don't think, out there right now that shows these two hilts off. So I did want to put that out there. Um, I mean, I know a lot of stuff on Sean's site on SP Sabres uh, has sold out, which, I, which is a good thing. So I'm sure he's going to be looking to put some more stuff out soon. But um, so am I. I am looking to, I'm working on the Mom Hero right now. I really want to finish that up because I, I like to really show that one off. Uh, and then I'm looking into chassis options right now for the Rescuer. That's probably the next hilt that I want to install. And I, you know, man, we're right at the start of the new Mandalorian season three that I'm hoping I can get that finished within the next couple of weeks as long as I can get a chassis in. So with that, guys, uh, enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you with the next install. Take care.